The Skyfall was another game in the series that had a few enhanced additions, in this case there being two of them, those being a Promise Revisited and Complete Plus, the latter being on Switch, PS4, and PC, and the former being on the Vita. The original game was released on the PS3 back in 2011, with the Vita version coming on 2014, and the Complete version years later in 2019 on PS4 and Switch, and on the PC in 2020. I've been enjoying the Complete Edition as of now, only because I never had a Vita or a PS3, so of course, you know, I just picked it up recently just because, you know, I have one of those consoles that the Complete Edition is on. I still think regardless of platform, the game overall is pretty nice, but that's a topic for a different video. But as of now, let's talk about the different ports and what each version adds. First, let's start off with the Vita version, a promise we visited since, of course, this was the first re-release the game got. And also keep in mind for later, when I get to Complete Plus, it will be based off this version. But moving on, this one does have all the DLC from the PS3 version. Like for example, it has all the downloadable characters, which has characters like Adele, Rosalind, Mao, and some characters from Phantom Brave. Of course, there's a lot more in here, but I'm just gonna keep it at that, just you know, to give some examples. In terms of other DLC, there are new scenarios, new classes, a pirate tournament mode, all-star demon battle, and a whole lot of stuff for the pirate ship creation mode and map editor. You also get two new classes, those being the necromancer and a meta class, this one being designed by Nozi Ito and the former being designed by Kohaku Koroboshi, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. And in terms of the new scenarios, there's one with Valve Taurus in his time of days, and when you finish it, you get to play as Valve and Valve Taurus. Then there's one with Fuka and Desko, where it's an alternate play mode, where those two are the main focus. The final two notable ones is that you can unlock Panio via the Pirate Tournament mode, and also you get to fight Tyrant Overlord Baal. Now we move on to the new additions, and one of them has to be where there's a new scenario with Altina and Valve Taurus, and it's called Time Leap Episode. From my understanding, the cast goes back in time and helps out a new character named Nagi and you help save Altina. I haven't played it myself yet, but this is what I can piece together. Further on, Petro Magic has returned, which is basically the strongest form of magic in the game. The last time this was in the series was in Disgaea 2, Dark Hero Days. The Cheat Shop also returns from Disgaea 2 of Bio Darkness, and if you don't know what that does, it's basically you can increase the amount of mana, EXP, and money you gain, along with increasing the enemy levels. There's a lot more to that, but that's the general overview of that. Then there's also a new feature that lets you change the appearance of the weapons, and that's called the Weapon Spy Changer, but it doesn't let you change the appearance of the fist weapons. Then there's also new characters in this version, two of which are Otina and Nagi from the new scenario I mentioned. Then there's also two new characters from the Sky 3, Absence of Detention, and if you have Seydale from that game on the Vita, you can recruit them like that. Something else from the Vita game has to be that the generic classes now get special skills, which I guess is a positive. I don't know exactly what the unique skills are, but again, I guess having more skills is a better thing. I'm just going to quickly talk about the rest of the stuff that was taken from this guy at D2 and one of them was the character promotion for the generic classes because before you would just have to reincarnate them into their new class well now you can just you know promote them and not reset their level back to one. Then there was also an instant warehouse where well, now you can store up to 256 of them. Another thing is that you can actually bribe the dog senate with money now and the final thing has to be where you can actually put characters in three different dispatch groups. And now moving on from Sky T2 there is now an event viewer which lets you rewatch cutscenes that were at least watched once. There's also new rank 40 items which are better than the previous rank 40 items in their own categories in terms of their stats. The new ones can be gotten by stealing from an item god 2 from the original rank 40 items in the land of carnage. Now we have a change related to the color world where now a character can actually go inside there six times instead of three. The item world also has some changes where one of them is where the Meowkin pirates can actually show up at floor 26 and above and the other change where now there are two level spheres for when you reverse pirate. One is red and the other is yellow. The storage was also increased where the warehouse was pushed from 512 to 999 and the normal storage was increased from 32 to 64. Also, the player can now move the character within the movement range without having to cancel their current action. Like for example, if you move 
a warrior to like all the way on the right side and then you actually say oh wait never mind i want to move him over there you can just you know without having to cancel you can just press move on him again and just move him to wherever you want to and this is something i have trouble with just because i played sky 2 so much and now i'm just not used to that another quality of life feature that is in the game is that now when you're in battle you can either would try a stage exit out to the base or quit every single map minus the iron world and the car world then you also have an option in the menu to go talk to Pinel to go to the dark senate without having to enter the campaign hq first and also the cost for the promotional tickets kyoto color palettes songs map parts and geo effects have now been reduced and also the final change in this version has to be that more characters learn tier 9 skills I will put that list on screen and also from what I've read that they can actually learn them around level 1500. Now on to this guy of full complete plus and this part is going to be really short. First off yes it does have all the content from the Vita version so you know I'm just getting that out of the way right now. And with this version you can actually reposition the characters when they're viewing the attack ranges for their skills along with the skills being able to be sped up to four times. The game also has an auto save feature where once you complete a battle, you know, it saves and this one can actually be turned off. Finally, you can also see the magic change weapon for the demon before it happens on the status screen. And that's pretty much all the changes with the re-releases for this guy of fall. And honestly, I think if you can get your hands on either the Switch version, the PS4 version, or it on Steam, that would probably be the best because I would imagine the Vita version might be a little bit expensive just because it's on the Vita. Well of course I would imagine the physical version for that would be a lot more expensive just because again it is the Vita version. But regardless I think for the most part the amount of content you get in the game would be kind of worth it. I would say it's a little bit more worth it with the game on Switch, PS4, and Steam just because again you know it's most recent and you get basically everything. I got it on sale but you know maybe if you want to wait for sale because I think it retails for like 64 Canadian if I remember correctly so again if you're not willing to pay that much just wait for a sale i've noticed that with every major sale for the most part it actually goes down to maybe 45 dollars maybe even lower i'm not sure but other than that i am really fond with the game and i'm enjoying my time with it i hope this video did help you decide what version to get because as of now again you could buy the ps3 version vita and basically all the other systems i mentioned for it thank you all for watching and see you guys later